everyone, it's Nicole the Math Lady, and today we're looking at adding and subtracting decimal numbers. I know I say a lot of this is easy, but really, really, this is going to be easy. I think you've actually done this already, you might not have even known it. Here's what I mean. So I have some numbers for you here, Five, some decimals, 5.32 plus 0 0.15 plus 54.13, we want to add them all together. There is only one rule you need to keep in mind here. That is line up your decimals. Here we go. 5.32. Now, my zero, I line up the decimal, 0, 1, 5. You might say, well, Nicole, I've got nothing out there to add with. Hang tight, I'm going to show you. Here we go. 54, line up the decimal, 0.13. Now we add. So what? You have nothing to add to that 5. That's okay. That 5 doesn't mind. Go ahead and bring that 5 down. 5. Now let's add the rest. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 and 3 is 6. 3 and 1 is 4. Boom. There's my decimal. I keep them all lined up. 5 and 4 is 9. And 5. So my decimal is 59.465. And that's it. Just make sure those decimals are always lined up. One more example. This time I'm giving you a subtraction problem. Here we have 0 0.734 minus 0 0.21. What do we do? Well, you know, I like to write them vertically, so let's do it. What's the rule? We line up the decimals. That's right. So here we go, 0 0.21. Now wait a second. You might say, Nicole, I've got nothing hanging out here. It's okay, the four can handle it. 4 minus nothing is 4. 3 minus 1 is 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. 0 minus 0 is 0. So there you go. I mean, adding and subtracting decimal numbers, it's really just like adding and subtracting regular numbers with one rule. Line up your decimals. That's it. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.